sadness a potent emotional force. Sadness often makes its way through the narrative of human life. It is not confined to just the human species alone. Animals, too, express their sorrow, an important reminder of our shared experience in life. The roots of sadness often lie in the thoughts we entertain, the stories we tell ourselves in our minds, the whispering echoes of nonsensical thoughts, the haunting symphony of regret and longing, the insidious shadows of self-doubt and fear. You see, these are the seeds that germinate into the tree of sorrow. In the throes of sadness, we often forget our divine essence, our intrinsic connection with the world. As philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche once said, quote, The snake which cannot cast its skin has to die. As well, the minds which are prevented from changing their opinions they cease to be mind. Unquote. Such a reflection helps us understand the imminent power of letting go, of shedding thoughts that no longer serve us, like a snake casting off its old skin. This is a call to empty our minds of clutter, to let the waters of wisdom cleanse us, to release the weight we carry and make room for lightness and ease. Sadness, in its raw and unfiltered form, can be a revolutionary and deeply unsettling emotion. It can feel as if we're enveloped in a deep, dense fog, unable to perceive the light of hope and joy. Yet, it's crucial to remember that sadness, like any other emotion, it's not permanent. Think of sadness as a visitor in the guest house of our being. This visitor is not, however, a permanent resident. Overcoming sadness often begins with acceptance. We have to acknowledge our pain. We need to allow ourselves to feel and to understand that it's okay to not be okay sometimes. Trying to surpass or avoid sadness often gives it more power. Conversely, by allowing ourselves to feel sad, we initiate the process of healing and recovery. In a world with all the ups and downs, with continual changes, there lies a truth that remains steadfast and immutable. Let not the drama and posturing of the world with its multitude of distractions divert us from the ever-constant tranquility of the divine. We should instead retain the authenticity of our inner being and maintain faith in the universe's inherent order, irrespective of the world's declarations. Our universe, our world, where we are Undeterred by the illusionary shadows of fear, in spaces where scarcity appears to rule the material domain, we should assert the boundless prosperity inherent in the cosmic fabric woven by God. Where discord and strife seem to take precedence in the material world, we can affirm the love that binds us to the divine even more. Here is a comforting quote from the Bible regarding sadness. Quote, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. 1 Peter 5 7. This verse encourages us to give all our worries and sadness to God, reminding us that he deeply cares about our troubles and is willing to help us through them. One way to overcome sadness is to shift our focus from the pain and towards gratitude. This doesn't mean ignoring or minimizing the pain, but rather consciously focusing on the aspects of life that still offer us joy, comfort, or contentment. You see, this shift in perspective can help to enlighten and lighten the burden of our sadness. Overcoming sadness requires a 
delicate balance of self-compassion and outward giving. Self-love is not a luxury, but a necessity. An act of acknowledging our inherent worth. So when we're gentle with ourselves, nurturing our spirit with kindness and understanding, we tap into a reservoir of strength that helps us weather life's storms. At the same time, giving, giving to others, channels our energy outward, shifting our focus from suffering to the act of uplifting others. It reminds us of our giving of joy, the invisible threads of empathy and compassion that bind us together. When we extend our hearts to others, our personal suffering dissolves. Here's an affirmation for you. I release non-serving thoughts from my mind, making space for light and positivity. Music, with its amazing beauty and power, music also can be a solve for a sorrowful heart. The soothing symphony of tranquil melodies, the gentle hum of harmonious frequencies, can really uplift our spirit, transporting us from the depths of despair to the peaks of joy. It's as if we, each note that carries a droplet of healing each harmony a soothe for the soul. In the enchanting world of music, sadness finds its expression. And in that expression, sadness finds its release. Water, water too, possesses a unique quality of cleansing. Whether it's the rhythmic cascade of a waterfall, the gentle lapping of waves against the shore, or the silent stillness of a lake. Water is a universal symbol of purification and renewal. And by immersing ourselves in water, or simply observing its flow, we can symbolically cleanse our sorrow, watching as it's carried away, leaving us renewed and revitalized. The challenge of sadness and the nonsensical thoughts that fuel it can really seem unsurmountable. Yet, each one of us possesses the incredible ability to overcome, to rise like a phoenix from the ashes, to heal. We must first allow ourselves to feel. The acknowledgement and acceptance of our sadness can be our first step towards healing. You see, we are travelers in this world. We're not here forever. Well, while we're here, we are confronted by trials and tribulations that seem to amplify the noise in our minds. Yet, every challenge bears the seed of transformation. The sorrow that engulfs us can become the fertile soil from which blossoms a flower of wisdom. And in the quiet sanctum of introspection, we find the strength to break free from the shackles of nonsensical thoughts and their accompanying sadness. This is the beauty of the human spirit, your spirit, its capacity for resistance, for metamorphosis, for alchemizing pain into purpose. Indeed, our connection with each other and the earth's energies can sometimes feel overwhelming, almost as if we're absorbing the collective emotions of humanity. Sadness as a universal human emotion is experienced across the globe. Consider this simple verse. In the midst of noise, silence beckons. A soft whisper amid a myriad of thoughts in the embrace of silence, sorrow surrenders. In the heart of stillness, joy unfolds. In the face of sadness, let us remember our inherent capacity for love, for compassion, for connection, 
Let's remind ourselves that the clouds of sorrow merely veil the light within. A light that waits patiently for the storm to pass on by, ever ready to shine in all its glory. So I say to myself, I am resilient in the face of sadness, knowing that it is but a cloud just passing through my internal sky. In understanding our shared capacity for sorrow, in recognizing that even animals too feel sadness, we appreciate the depth of our connection to all of life. It invites us to a profound realization that suffering is universal. Sadness is universal. Yet, it is our response to suffering and sadness that shapes our experience of life. So in overcoming our trials, in learning to dance to a new tune amidst the noise, we create within us a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. We learn that sadness is not an anomaly, but a part of the human experience, our experiences. It's not a sign of weakness, but it's a testament to our vulnerability, our capacity to feel deeply, to love fiercely, and to strive despite setbacks. So as we travel towards the horizon of self-discovery, we remember to treat ourselves with kindness, to forgive ourselves for our perceived shortcomings, to celebrate our small victories. Let's gift ourselves the grace of starting new, of washing away the sorrow that stains our spirits, of basking in the soothing sounds of peace and contentment. For in the end, the wisdom we gather the love we share, and the joy we discover within our hearts, we are truly about emptying our minds of nonsensical thoughts and filling our hearts with love, compassion, and understanding. Dear God, Thou art the beacon of hope amidst the storm of sorrow. Teach me, I pray Thee, the art of releasing thoughts that do not serve me, the grace of embracing the wisdom of acceptance. Guide me towards the path of love, where I may find solace in thy divine presence, thus beginning new, unburdened by the weight of yesteryears. Amen. If this message or other messages in the podcast have inspired you, then please share this podcast with your circle, helping to heal our world one person, one message at a time.